Mother God and the spirit of the womb. Are you ready to go on a journey with me? <laughs> yes. It's what I'm going to bring up is a little interesting. So I just want to prepare you. <laughs> um, I don't know if everyone's heard that the, uh, a possible uh, guilty person for, um, for Tupac Shakur's death has been recently arrested. I don't know, maybe 80s babies, no more. <laughs> um, Tupac Shakur, Machiavelli, um, he was a social activist in his own way. Um, he, let me just quote here, contemporary, he addressed contemporary social issues that plagued inner cities, and he is considered by fans to be a symbol of activism against inequality. There's been college courses around his poetry and how he did that, how he, he woke people up to what was happening in the world and inspired social change, inspired. It starts with us. He had a, a, a rough upbringing. His parents were part of the Black Panther um, pro initiative group and probably still are, were until they left um, in Manhattan. He was born there and then raised there for a bit and then moved to California. Pretty rough. Um, his mom was a single mom for a while with two, two him and his uh, sibling. And he, he spoke about this in his poetry, very real, very raw, but not in a way that um, was pity on himself. In a way it was, yeah, we're going through some rough stuff. What are you going to do? What are we going to do? What is society going to do? Are we going to stand up? Are we going to be get involved in our world? He said it in his own way, from his own language. There was a, a rift between the East and West Coast. You know, I, I, I don't know. Some people say it was part of, you know, music sales and stuff like that. Eventually, when he was shot in Vegas, they thought that uh, Big Papa, another an East Coast rapper, was the one that killed him. But he was killed like six months later. So obviously it wasn't him or could have been. But I don't know. There's just so much drama in the world. And. And even though in that drama, he was still writing inspirational things as best he could. He was using that anger. He was using that sense of loss that society has given up on me and my people. That's why it was so inspiring. It inspired me. I was a young teen in Las Vegas when this happened. That's why it's touching me, I guess. He had it much worse than I did. And yet he still held some possibility. He still held a sense of understanding, a sense of change, a sense of possibility in the midst of his humanity, he still tried his best to be a change in the world. Is that not mother God? <laughs> Whoa, I do not agree with what's happening. And yet I'm staying steady for what's possible because I know, I know there's possibility. Tupac once said, just because you lost me as a friend, does it mean you gained me as an enemy? I'm bigger than that. I still want to see you eat, just not at my table. <laughs> I don't mean ill upon you. I don't want ill upon you. Just because we'd have some kind of hoo -hoo dissonance, issues. I still want to see you eat. I've worked with this uh, amazing opportunity to have this practice in my life. I'm not wishing ill upon you, I still want to see you eat. And yet, we're not, it's not healthy to be at a close orbit right now. And yet, I still want the best for you. I still see what's possible. And I'm still open for what's possible. 
sometimes it's uh, it's like even you may throw daggers, you may throw your projections at me. That doesn't make me feel good. But I'm still here for what's possible. And I won't take that personally. I understand you're going through something. And I know who I am. No matter how many questions come up, maybe I am those things. Maybe that is right. Ah, I'm still holding for Mother God as Mother God for what's possible. <laughs>